Good afternoon. For 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. We're taking a look at today's top headlines, and I'll tell you a little bit about what the 4 News Now team is working on today. Starting with taking a look at weather, uh, this is what we're looking like for today. It's going to be some scattered rains and mountain snow. We are hearing reports out of certain parts of Spokane that are experiencing snow today. Uh, we were expecting this weather system uh, for a couple days now, so we will be also keeping an eye on the passes, Snoqualmie and Lookout Pass as well, in case they get too much snow to handle, but hope hopefully not an issue. And looking ahead towards tomorrow, we're expecting a drier, cooler Valentine's Day tomorrow, and uh, some seasonal temperatures staying in this upper 30s, low 40s. Uh, and in the weekend, uh, we are expecting another rain system, so we'll see if that does materialize. Let's take a look at some of the top stories that the team is working on today. 4 News Now's Peter Choi. He is looking at the uh, VFW building in Hilliard. Uh, they reported that on Sunday a vehicle drove into the building causing severe damage. And now uh, I talked to Peter earlier today. He said the structure is compromised as well. So he's speaking with people who witnessed the accident as well as the people who run the VFW building in that area about what they're doing, what are their plans next, and uh, how they're reacting to this. Uh, there is, they haven't arrested anyone. They haven't reported any suspect information if they are looking for someone. Uh, so we will try to keep up with the latest on that. But again, it looks like around 9 p.m. on Sunday, a truck drove into that building. Um, let's see, Jordan Smith is working on a follow-up to a story that broke Friday where a woman in North Spokane was found stabbed to death and police arrested her ex and they believe it is a domestic violence um, murder, so they are holding that man for murder right now. Uh, court documents say that there was a domestic violence order which had been placed recently before her stabbing death. Uh, so Jordan's going to be looking at what is a domestic violence court order. How does it work? It, is it effective? And he'll be following up to try to learn more information about how that process happens. And uh, closing out with some good news, Gonzaga, another win on Saturday, beat their conference rival or their biggest rival, BYU, and they've moved up their reward for that win, moving up three spots now in the AP poll from 16 to 13. And in that process, leapfrogged another rival, their conference rival, St. Mary's. So St. Mary's fell a couple spots and Zags back on top of them as they should be. And Gonzaga has a good opportunity this Thursday as they travel to California to play LMU. If you'll recall, LMU was the team that upset them a few weeks ago and uh, breaking that uh, historic home streak for Gonzaga. So hopefully they'll be able to make amends in that game again Thursday at LMU. So that's all we have for today in the KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. Be sure to download the 4 News Now app on your phone and KXLY, the free Plus app for your connected TVs, which is your Apple TVs, Roku, and uh, Fire Stick. So you can watch 24-7 streaming news as well as breaking news when it happens. So we'll have all these stories and more coming up in 4 News Now at 5. But for now, live in the KXLY Plus Digital News Center, Rob King, 4 News Now.